Good evening, everybody. We gather, albeit remotely, this evening in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm sorry that we cannot meet in person for this first meeting for preparation for First Holy Communion, but we have to put up with that at the moment. My name is Anne Ackery, and I'm the pastoral assistant here at Sacred Heart, and I oversee the First Holy Communion preparation course. Our two main catechists are Teresa Donaghy, who we had hoped would be here this evening, but we were a little bit unsure about the legality of it, um, and Eileen Carpenter. We hope to have another catechist in place in time for the face-to-face -face meetings. I hope by now that you've received and read the email and attachments which give the details of the upcoming course. My apologies for sending out the wrong information for parents. Um, that will teach me to delete the old one before I start sending out anything new. Um, but you should have the amended version now. The dates and everything were the same. It's just that we'd included a third group that we thought we might have to have. None of us knows what lies ahead, but we are working on the assumption that we'll be able to go ahead with the course. Any changes obviously will be made if we have to. But it's always easier to plan and then cancel rather than try to start from scratch at the last minute. If you've had children do the course previously, you will notice that the course looks rather different this year. So we cannot have everybody together for classes, so we've divided the children into two groups, Group A and Group B. They will have, um, on one of your email attachments, you have the list of who is in which group. So all children will be expected to work on the books at home with you as parents. And then each group will have four meetings in total with the catechists. The first just before First Reconciliation and then three before First Communion itself. The catechists will then check the children's understanding when they meet them, so of what they've been learning and will reinforce the information. And Teresa has also very kindly agreed to put up some sessions on YouTube to help the children with each chapter of the workbooks. More details when they're available. Wallets have been passed on to Sacred Heart School today. And after they've had their period of quarantine, uh, Mrs. Mullally will distribute them for us on Friday. And in those wallets, they're what you would have collected this evening had we had the, the meeting. You will have, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see these, but you will have the reconciliation book inside, along with a small mass book. A couple of other pieces of paper will be in there along with this which is on card, it's a buff colored card, which is an examination of conscience which will help your children when they come to make their first reconciliation. There will also be a sheet in that wallet which is um, a copy of one of the things I emailed out to you which asks you to complete it to show that we have spelt your child's name correctly and also because we're having to ask you for a donation that will be what you use when you hand in your donation. We do appreciate that it is a very difficult time all round especially financially for a lot of people but we do ask if you possibly can to give the donation of £20 which goes towards providing all the workbooks. So we have two workbooks, the, pr the mass book and various other bits and pieces. So if you can please give that donation, it would be greatly appreciated. 
The church is also going through a bit of a financial thing, as everybody else is, because with fewer people coming into church, there's less money also coming in. So it will really will be appreciated. For the one child that is not attending Sacred Heart, another arrangement will be made for you to get that wallet. So if you're watching this and you think, my child doesn't go to Sacred Heart, don't worry, we'll sort that out. So the children have been allocated into their groups. So we cannot swap the children between groups. So unfortunately, if you on the Saturday, but you'd prefer the Sunday, we can't allow you to do chopping and changing this year because of circumstances. So they'll be in a group to do their learning. They'll be in a group to make their communion. So Group A will make their communion on Saturday the 5th of June and Group B on Sunday the 6th of June. First reconciliation will take place in church on Saturday the 27th of February between 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. So that period of time allows people to come in in smaller numbers at a time so not everybody will be here at the same time and once your child has made their confession they can then leave so it should be nicely socially distanced and a reminder that adults and children over 11 will need to wear a mask or face covering so when the meetings with the catechists happen all the usual safeguarding rules will apply. Hand over your child directly to a catechist at the start of the session and then make sure you make yourself known to a catechist when you retrieve them at the end. Please do not drop them in the car park and allow them to come in on their own. A couple of years ago we had this happen and it was on a day when there wasn't actually a session, so they'd got the dates wrong completely, dropped the child off, and there was nobody around to help. So please, please come in with your child and then make sure that somebody has, you have given them to somebody and that you then come and collect them at the end. Please be on time at the start and end of the session. The catechists will wish to attend 11 o'clock mass, which is after the session, so they can't be hanging around waiting for people to come. It makes it very difficult for them. So although at the moment compulsory attendance at mass is suspended because of corona, we strongly encourage you to attend mass regularly. Now, with the low numbers that we have got at the moment, we should be able to cater for everybody with our three masses that we have, two here and one at St. John Fisher every weekend. There is a possibility that we'll be able to have a, an extra mass specifically for the children, but we're not entirely sure about that at the moment. As and when, or if and when it happens, we will let you know. But really, there should be enough room for you to come to one of the three masses here or at St. John Fisher. Your child will have, which also comes in your, your pack, an attendance booklet. And each time your child attends on each Sunday or Saturday evening, they'll have a sticker to show that they were here. And that really is the only way that we can check on the commitment of your child and your family about coming to, to Mass. So we can see who is coming. We can't really expect a child to make their communion next June if they haven't been to Mass during this time. And we know it's difficult, but please, please do the best you can. So thank you to those who've agreed to be part of a WhatsApp group. 
And this is really just so that we can do any last minute changes that they can be communicated to you quickly. So for example, if a session has to be canceled, if a catechist has to self-isolate, for example. So we can tell everybody in one fell swoop. Now not everybody has agreed to be on the WhatsApp group. So those who haven't, we will obviously attempt to get in touch with you quickly by phone. So normally I would be able to take questions from people um, sitting in front of me, but of course we can't do that at the moment. If you do have any questions, anything specific, either email um, the church office and that question will then be forwarded on to me to be answered. Or after the current lockdown, Teresa and I are usually at the 11 o'clock mass here on a Sunday morning. So if you make yourself known to us, socially distanced, of course, then we can answer any questions that you have. I'm hoping that the emails that I've sent out and the information that comes in the pack will explain most things. But if you do have a question, don't hesitate to contact. Now, if you're in contact with other people in the group, if you let them know that there will be a recording of this session um, available on Facebook later, um, so if you let them know, I will obviously send out an email to tell people that. And also, I will send out an email of these notes that I've, I've read out today so that everybody has got a chance of seeing or hearing what I've been talking about. So I'm just going to hand over to Father Graham. He's going to say a few words and then we will be finished. So, thank you everyone for joining us this evening or for watching this at a, at a later stage. Uh, we, I know, we know this year is going to be difficult. We know this year is unusual for the reasons that, of course, we all now sadly know in regards to the restrictions due to COVID-19. You know, continue to pray that the vaccine will be with us in December, which hopefully will change a lot of things. But we think that that vaccine will go to targeted groups and it will trickle down to us at a later stage next year. Now, we're hoping that the churches will be open again for public mass uh, at the start of December, uh, probably for the second Sunday of Advent. But if that's extended, and from now until then, please watch either one of the live masses, because we've got this camera now, uh, on the Saturday night at 5.30 p.m. or 9.30 on the Sunday morning. Now, at the moment, we're recording those masses, so um, if you go to the YouTube uh, uh, website, uh, which you're looking at now, then you'll find those masses either live or recorded on the side. And uh, that, uh, uh, web, that YouTube uh, is called Sacred Heart of Jesus, South End on Sea. That's Sacred Heart of Jesus, South End on Sea. So if you type that in, uh, into YouTube, you will find us. So sit down together as a family with your child and watch that Mass, either whether it's a recording or live, as I say, Saturday night, 5.30, or on Sunday at 9.30. Now, when we can have public Masses again, um, we would say come along to one of those Masses uh, that uh, we have here. Now, <clears throat> they're different to the recorded time Masses. When we have public Masses, we have it on Saturday night here at 5.30, and then I encourage some of you to come to that. 9 o'clock at St. John Fisher, and then 11 o'clock here. So, uh, but until we can say Masses publicly, sit down with your child, um, maybe with the booklet that you'll be getting soon, 
and maybe go through the Mass uh, with them and uh, so that you can attend Mass at least through YouTube. So, as usual, take care, everyone. God bless and be safe. And maybe before I leave you this evening, let's say together the words our Lord has given us as we say together the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let's seek the intercession of Our Lady, the untire of knots, as we say together. How Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And let's give glory to God as we say together. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, guide and protect you and all you love this evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>